just call them newts. <sighs> Crawling all over the place like a bunch of really damn monkeys. Gotta get the deck cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo old so, buddy. Uh... How do I ever trust this asshole? Hello. Because it won't be needing this. Skizzle graduated with honors. What? I knew he wasn't a gangbanger. Gotta go see Addy. Get this arm fixed up. I can't let it get infected. We know what that means. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Addie, shh. Addie. So many wounded. Addie. And so many die. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. So Addie's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor and you still saved Boozer's life. That's got to count for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. I guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in peace, I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? Is this some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. 
Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. Well, you'll be there. <laughs> Goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. Ripper Patrol! I stay up!
head south from here. Following you. It's easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there.
Where do I set the next charge? Ricky called to the pen stock, the big pipe at the base of the dam. Okay, almost there. I wish I had a blade hand. <laughs> it's done. You got this. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> God, your rippers, get them off me! I got this, Boozer. <sighs> get them off me! Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? <sighs> let's, uh, let's go find Jesse. You, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Uh, shit. Remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. All right, looks like we're going on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I'll just show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Deke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this. Light! The lost have a flashlight! Hmm. Flashlight. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Ah.
breaker. Jesse. Oh yeah. It's time to finish what we started. Now, these guys seem more jacked up than usual. Oh yeah. Hey, there's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> yeah. That is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right? Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Clear to me now. Yeah, 
happy to. Rest in peace, Jesse. It's done? Yeah. It's done. And I couldn't have done it alone. <laughs> It was good being out in this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo said there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. I said, I, I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. See, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, uh, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else Ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. 
I stopped another killing. You know what? I guess I'm good with that. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah's property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon! I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Were you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. Blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. I'll... I just thought maybe you, you uh, saw my new 
patch. Here what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, th I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. What if? Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. Believe it or not. Farewell. I think we had it pretty good with training, equipment, and all. But it got bad fast. It wasn't just a little. started almost overnight. It was everything. People just going nuts, shooting at anything that looked like a little thing, not realizing that they were just as bad. I, uh, ended up putting it
ish. Tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died near. Let me get you out of there. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Oh yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? You looking for your next easy target? Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Uh, thank you. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who Don't stop, just keep out of sight. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what they got? I need to see you in person. Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found is ish? She lied, where isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. Right now. Right. God damn it. Damn. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, no. I think Sarah died. They bugged out. They only took their own people, fads, people who had federal. Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. I got this. Hang on. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in this shit. I know where there's a camp that... Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Thank you so much! I thought I was gonna die in there! Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Keep your head down and run! Deacon, you there? Yeah, Booze Man, what's up? I just... I just wanted to say thanks for the dog. It's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me, you know? Wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, hey, get down. Hey. <laughs> Easy, but... That should be it. Yeah, sure it followed you. Hey, uh... Hey, Jack. <laughs> Jack would have loved that. I know he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. I know, I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... <sighs> okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say 
that some bad shit went down. <laughs> really bad shit. And Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack... Uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Well, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because, um, uh, because I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. And, uh, hey, <laughs> you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him. Jesse. I had to. I mean, guy was a goddamn psychopath. But, uh, we didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we, we blew him up. The Rippers, we blew up their camp. We drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats. And you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you, before this shit, we were numb and we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds, <laughs> keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin, and it worked. Yeah. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Good. Every cut. We are wide awake, and we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. We're doing a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath, and I'll play it. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took New York personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Roth. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse.
shit about any of that. Boozer, booze man, come back. Yeah, Deke. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with him. I'm thinking about riding south. The Sandium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Hi, Mike. Yeah, he was he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. So there was a, a trail that went all around. It's not something. Tielson, Tielson, yeah, that's it. Tielson can pass. Yeah, why the hell you shit. You've, you've talked to him. She's alive? Sarah's alive. Okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Boozer, uh... I, I think that she's alive. D. Never lost hope. He always knew. Never gave up. What are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... I gotta find her. Got that right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Annie need, need help with a uh, shelf or some goddamn thing. Uh, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Okay, okay. See you. Open in the gate. Let's see what the old man's got to say. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. You told me once that I... I'd... told you nothing. Go on, oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done! After everything that I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's camp, on. the things that you, you get did... Out you get out of here! You leave me! Listen to me! What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. World belongs to them now. We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. 
Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Uh, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> We wrote out a farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You got nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you can find her. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Hey. Our big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't, if I don't do this, well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us, right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us? Campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. You know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. Ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Come on, this way. Okay, I'm following you. I got fishing once, before, you know? Oh shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. That sounds like Jack. Oh, you ran a pretty tight club. Oh, you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. 
it's not murder if they shoot at you first. You know how many tourists we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow, floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here, nonstop. I'm glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? Last for the live I won't be giving up on you If you're out there Oh, 
What the hell? There we go.